Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Calmston Farm here in Farming Simulator 22 with me, Siwadi. I'm just taking my Lamborghini for a quick little spin, because ladies and gentlemen, you're not going to believe this. I've fixed the camera ladies and gents. The camera has been fixed. <laughs> Finally! The first person is back in the big Lambo. Oh, that's, that's fantastic, I have to say. The fact that I can, I can do first person again in the Lambo is very, very good. Very, very good. I'm pleased to fix that. I had some great help from the master mod maker himself, Mr. Stevie, who uh, gave me a handy little tip on how to possibly fix it, and it worked. It worked. First time of asking. Um, basically, for anyone else having that issue, where your camera goes lardy da and goes wonky on your tractor, open up the i3d file of the tractor in Giant's editor. Um, well, first of all, open up an i3d file of a tractor that works, that's camera is perfectly fine and doesn't have any issues. Okay, so once you've done that, what you want to do after you've done that is locate the camera in the i3d file, select the camera of the working tractor and export the camera. Export it, save it somewhere and then open up your broken tractor, in my case the Lambo, and import the camera from the um, the new file, okay. Import the new the the camera into the um, from the the working tractor into the Lambo, and then move that camera up in the scene graph, so it's just below the old camera data. Okay, so in your your file tree, the uh, new camera is seated below the old camera. And then delete the old camera. This way, it preserves all your identification nodes, all your ID numbers and everything, so that you don't have to go through your, the rest of the mod and update everything. And ladies and gentlemen, as a result of doing that, we've got a fully working interior camera again. But yeah, very pleased. I'll be sending Stevie a little donation later on today after I finish recording this video to thank him for that wonderful little bit of help. Um, I mean, obviously, this mod, the, the Lamborghini mod, still has a few errors and issues in it because it's a convert from a, what is it, an FS13 or FS15 mod that's been converted and converted and converted. No one's ever actually properly remade it to FS22 standards. There's a whole bunch of sound files and stuff missing. Apparently, it's missing a load of sounds and stuff for um, hoses and connections and bits and bobs and things. But when you're actually playing and you're driving around, you don't really notice, do you? You don't really notice um, the problems. So I'm happy with that. Right, I've done my bailing. So I've been, just been around and checked all the fields. I've done all my bales, uh, my silage bales. So now I've got to get back to mowing, I think it is. Am I mowing? What was the plan? I can't really remember what I was doing the other day because um, I've been jumping backwards and forwards between how baler on and here and um, I played, the, played a few videos of how Baylor on to try and get a little bit ahead with my recordings on that app. Had a bunch of issues placing a blooming cow pen. I'm pleased this map's got a cow pen built in. However, I would prefer it if it had the little robot thing for doing the TMR mixing because obviously I've had a bit of a disaster trying to mix TMR myself. <laughs> Let's have a look. Well, I think we've got field 10 to mow. Yes, we have. 
Wow, that's very bright and orangey on my screen. Um, I've had a firmware update for my monitor today. Uh, I don't know how it's going to come across on the video recording. I'll have to check that in later, but that is very orange now. Apparently, and I didn't realise this, but apparently, the whole time I've been using my monitor, the HDR hasn't been working quite right. <laughs> <laughs> so they've the um, Gigabyte or Aorus or whatever, they've released a, a firmware update for that today. Um, um, and I've just updated my mon monitor. It took me a while. I'm not going to lie. Wasn't very straightforward at all. I kept having loads of issues um, with the, 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 the download failing. And when I say the download failing, what I mean is do the HDR to do the update you have to download a file obviously from the manufacturer's website which is the new firmware the new bin file for the firmware and then what you have to do once you've downloaded that obviously you have to unzip the folder you have to unzip it and move that bin file to a location where you can easily find it on your PC Bearing in mind, it needs to be in a location, I've discovered, that doesn't have that many characters in the file name. So for me, originally, I was trying to... I, I'd got it saved in my, my documents folder, so obviously it's C, users, C what -E, um, What was it? Downloads, and then folder name, and then the file apparently that was too long so in the end i ended up putting the fault the file the bin file straight onto the hard drive the c drive of my computer so it was literally the file file name was c file name you know no folders no so well within the character limit okay that helped um i also had issues with it downloading failing when i was trying because you have to use a program you have to use um a program on your PC. You open up the program and it then gives you, there's an about page where, you, you know, one of these, um, it's for basically set, changing all the settings on the monitor. I never use it for changing the settings on the monitor. I change the settings, my monitor settings on the monitor itself using the monitors menus, using the remote control that came with the monitor to change all the settings. Um, but you have to use the, 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 basically the program that comes with the monitor. And then there's a pet there's a, a tab where you can go on into and then it, you can update the firmware so you go to that tab you then have to browse for the firmware file locate it on the computer select it and then obviously you have to click update the update button to start downloading it to your uh, the firmware to your monitor now obviously the monitor is connected to the pc via a usb cable because the monitor has got usb ports on it which acts as like a usb hub so you've got a cable connecting the, um, the monitor to the PC. And I was having issues. I got it plugged into the back of my PC. I got it plugged into one of the motherboard USBs directly onto the motherboard. And it was a USB 3 socket. And it would not... It kept... They say, as I say, download kept failing. In the end, what I decided to do randomly was just take the USB cable out of the back of the PC and plug it into one of the USB ports on the front of my PC, on the case, okay? Which is probably not the most preferred method of plugging in devices to your PC. Because, you know, front case-mounted USB ports can be a bit iffy. And the only one I'd got available on the front of my case was a USB 2 port. Okay? But weirdly... First time I attempted to download the update, then, using the USB 2 port, it went. It completed. So I've got my new firmware, firmware version F06, on my monitor. And I'll tell you what, after it, the monitor restarted, powered off, and did its like, self-restart after the, the firmware had completed, the minute it loaded back up, it almost burnt my eyeballs out. It was that bright, the display. I was like, whoa! that's completely different i've not had that so i've had to spend a few minutes this evening just going in and tuning all my settings um re well retuning a lot of my settings actually because um yeah the monitor was way too bright then 
I mean, all the colours, very vibrant, very poppy. I mean, the reds on that um, mower are really red. In fact, it might be a little bit too red for me. I might just have to tweak the colours a little bit. I don't know if I've got colour enhance turned on, but yeah. Weirdly, weirdly, again, another thing I noticed, I don't know why it does it. it might have been because I did a, a graphics update, a driver update, um, a few days ago, uh, the other day. But again, I noticed after I updated the firmware on my monitor, uh, when I went into my actual graphic settings, my display settings, uh, my monitor was not set to HDR. HDR was not turned on in Windows. Windows had disabled HDR. And also, it was setting my monitor to 60 hertz instead of 144. So, I am now playing again with HDR on at this moment in time and at 144 hertz refresh rate. Okay. Now, I did record some Hout Baylor on videos earlier today. They might possibly, well, I would say more than likely, are not going to be HDR, and they're probably going to be 60 FPS. Um, I would imagine, because for, like I say, for some weird reason, I think when you update the NVIDIA driver and it uninstalls the old driver and then reinstalls the new one I think for some weird reason Windows disables HDR and then when the mon when it installs the new driver uh, for whatever weird reason Windows does not select the correct refresh rate for my monitor it always sets it to 60 and it should set it to 144 and obviously I have to re-enable the G-Sync as well, I, uh, I I have to re-enable G-Sync every time I update the um, NVIDIA driver, or graphics drivers. But yeah, I'm doing another lovely little bit of mowing. I don't know if, am I going to silage bale this? Probably. I'm going to do some more silage baling. Little bale. I've got all my fields mounted with um, with oilseed radish, haven't I? Like I say, what we're going to do, probably... I'm just thinking now about the, the calendar. Well, we've gone until November. We can plant up until late November. Uh, I was just wondering about the, um, you know, the... Um, how long I leave the oilseed radish down for before I cultivate and obviously I need to allow sufficient time for me to get round with my cultivator and do all th three fields because that's not going to be a um, a quick process I shouldn't imagine doing the um, cultivating I've also installed one new mod today uh, which probably doesn't show up in this menu here. No, it doesn't. I think I've got to go into the build menu. It's um the um automated pallet stacking mod. And what I plan to do with it uh, is it under silos? It might be under silos, I think. In, yeah, they're in here. Look. Um, see, that one's got a mistake. Strawberries go in, but strawberries don't come out. Huh. That one does wool. That's the one I want. So I heard there was an issue with um, the 04 version of this. So you want to avoid using um, the version 4 rack um, to do strawberries, to store strawberries on because you can't get them back out again. Yeah, 
there's a couple there, look. I might possibly like the idea of that one. Because it will do wool. It'll do honey. It'll do eggs. And basically, it's just a little rack. And basically, you put the, you tip the stuff in there and it'll load it up on the shelves and stores, I don't know how much of a product, but I was thinking of getting a couple of these. Um, be using over at the sheeps. Because um, obviously my wool spawns all over here. And I was just thinking of uh, maybe chucking in a couple of these racks and just having racks out here in the field where I can basically just come along and store my um, my wool until I've got enough wool to take off to the um, take off to the spinnery to sell to get rid of. So what I'm, I'm going to do then, now I've just noticed that, I'm going to make a little note to myself that version 4 of that mod needs to be looked at and I need to see if I can fix that somehow to get the um, strawberries output incorrectly. It's an XML issue, I think. There's either a typo in the output Or there's an entry completely missing from the output, which is why strawberries don't work. I'm so pleased I managed to get that camera fixed. Because <laughs> that's been bugging me. Really been annoying me. And it's only happened because of the update that Giants did. The 1.3 update. That was when it broke the, the, the camera. And as I say, I spoke to Stevie this afternoon. I sent him a message on Facebook. And he said he, he had similar issues in both FS17 and also FS19. When Giants did updates to the game and it broke cameras in his mods and he found the only way to fix it was to import a working camera from another vehicle and delete the old one move it up in the scene graph so it occupied the space just under the old one so that once you deleted the old one out of the scene graph the new camera took over the same nodes the same id numbers so that you don't have to go through and completely redo all your xml file and everything and it doesn't break everything else on the vehicle and all the nodes for everything it doesn't renumber everything below the camera so yeah i'm quite pleased i've managed to fix that because <laughs> i was almost get i was almost getting to the stage where i was like i might have to I'm, as much as i obviously love the lamborghini because it gives you that clarkson's farm vibe if the camera's not working properly, I might have to bin that tractor. I might just have to, I was almost tempted to bin it, sell it and get something else. And the, the, only, the only disappointment is the other Lamborghini I've got is obviously so low powered in comparison. It only goes up to 263 horsepowers. Whereas the big Lambo goes up to 325, which is obviously a little bit more useful. Obviously, it doesn't compare to the class here because the class is still the most powerful tractor I've got on the farm. But it's nice having that extra little bit of oomph, <laughs> you know, in that middle, middle, middle range. Like I say, that the big Lambo is perfect for my seeding. It's perfect for me mulching, me rolling, things like that that require not a lot of power. Um, and yeah basically <laughs> uh, the class takes care of cultivating ploughing the, the, the jobs which require a little bit more oomph 
Uh, obviously, I've got the fields here to mow as well yet. I'm going to save those. I'm going to, I'll definitely be doing those off of camera. Uh, I'm not going to waste time doing this field and that field next door. This one's got the baler attached. Just love me Lambo. <gasps> it's working. So yeah, basically, I copied the I copied the camera from this tractor. I copied this um, camera to the Lambo, the big Lambo, and that's fixed it. Made the most sense because I thought these two tractors were probably very similar in in size. Right, I'm going to fertilise spray very quickly. Before I go any further. Because then that's taken care of. I've not seen any harvesting contracts popping up on this map. I'm not quite sure what the deal is there. I mean, I don't know if that corn's ready to harvest or not. It would be nice to know. Bear in mind, I've still got to get a header at some point to be able to harvest my own corn. Um... No, no harvesting contracts as of yet. I, they don't stay on the map long enough. Literally, as soon as the field's ready to harvest, bang, the AI does it. The AI is not actually giving me a chance to <laughs> do any harvesting contracts. Like I say, we're going to have a couple of days, hopefully, now, before I need to worry about... Um, the next harvesting of the corn. Got a few days before I need to worry about cultivating the oilseed radish and start planting the next year's crops. So maybe I can get on to doing that project on that other field. You know, where I'm going to be basically making a field on that big waste area in front of the, um, the shops, in front of the factories. Plenty of uh, land there that I can use. I've also got, obviously, that other field as well that I bought. Field 20. Um, could be an idea to put some that's, plant some that's on there. What could I plant on that field? Uh, see, sugar beets have got to be done in March. So if I was doing sugar beet harvesting, that would be late in the year. That would be next year. I'd be seeding that. Might be a case of I chuck some a load of barley on field 20. Because I didn't do barley this year. We did oats and wheat, didn't we? Because we wanted the wheat for the chickens. Pretty sure I'm not going to need that much wheat. For the future, because I've got 120,000, chickens ain't going to eat that much wheat in a year. So I could probably afford not to do wheat this time around and maybe do two fields of, um, two fields of barley. Because uh, that will give me extra flour production. Because I'll have the oats, I'll have the sorghum. That will keep my bakery running. And keep us in bread and um, cakes. Oh, yeah, that's that bit done.
Boop, 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 boop. That worked very well. I'm very pleased with that. Like I said, I'm even more pleased with me, um, me big bales. With me Lambo. Fix me Lambo. Fixed it. Just as I was thinking I was going to have to bin it. Scrap it, sell it, put it, chalk it up to bad mod. Broken mod. We've managed to fix it, ladies and gents. So yeah, basically, we're going to be rocking this bad boy. We are. And, um, going to be grabbing the plow. This fella can do some ploughing. This fella will make our um, juicy new field. Oh, it's so much nicer being able to drive around in first person where you can see actually where you're going. You haven't got the um, stupid trees in the way all the time. So yeah, this lovely area here, ladies and gents, is going to get a feel put on it. I'm going to make a field. Slightly tempted, though, to come and mow all the grass off at first. <laughs> Would that be a little bit too cheeky, do you think? I come and cut all the grass first and bailed it all and picked it all up. Weird thing is, because I haven't played in first person for so long, that camera's been busted. I keep wanting... I keep wanting to zoom out <laughs> so I can see more. <laughs> I keep pressing down on the controller. This tractor's got slightly tinted windows, I think. It's a little bit darker in this tractor than it is the other Lambo. Let that drop there, because then it's out of the way. I'm going to avoid doing the outside row until I've done a lot of the up and down rows.
More bales. Like I say, all these are just going to be left. We ferment into silage, and then we're going to sell all these ones. Because I could really do with the money. Having bought cows and things, and fields. <laughs> um, we've spent a lot of money in the last few days. Now need to earn some. So, yeah, we'll be taking the uh, silage. And we'll probably chuck some at the BGA and then we might look at seeing about selling the rest. We might have to store some temporarily. Uh, again, I don't know whether I've actually got... I have. I've got these little... Um, automatic bale loading things again where I can store bales uh, now we've given my look just lately at placing things and having it destroying the ground I'm more inclined to try and place it somewhere where it's out of the way <laughs> where if it wants to make a mess of the ground um, it will it can do so somewhere over here where I, I'm not going to be doing anything really again they're expensive 79,000 for a, a bale storage where you can basically deliver your bales into it and then spawn them back out as and when you need them so again it acts a bit like a silo for um, straw grass hay silage going to um, be a pest. Going to be a bit of a nuisance. Yeah. At least we're on an up and down road before it drops. All good stuff. So yeah, I will finish off my bailing today. Right now. Um, and then next video... Well, bring you back as we start to do some field mate we start to make that field and um, again try to make it a nice field and put nice edges on it so it's not just square and boring <laughs> you know it will take a while to do I should imagine and I bet there's gonna be loads of stones that I'm gonna have to pick up and then I'm gonna have to lime spread it Uh, yeah, it could be a, a, a couple of days' work, that. But thankfully, like I say, we're not really... Is it October time, is it, the corn? So we've got pretty much September, pretty much just to um, do some uh, do some random projects. A bit like Clarkson with his wilding. <laughs> Remember that in the series when he was doing his wilding project, where he was making his, um, his lakes... He was building his dam and stuff like that. And ultimately, basically, just making a mess <laughs> in the countryside. And he got chilled by cheerful Charlie. You're just making a mess. You've got to be very careful. You're just causing damage, he says. And if you do that, you're likely to lose your subsidies, he says. In fact, you could probably be fined. Because you can't go just digging up stuff, he says. But by the end of the series, it all came good, didn't it? Because his actual, like, lake and everything, and his, like, wilding area, where he created, like, room for wild animals and insects and stuff like that, it really did. It was quite good, actually. I know he did a lot for the birds in the area, didn't he? He put up lots of bird boxes and stuff to, to help the birds, the wildlife. Planted a load of new trees.
here. We're getting all of our lovely bales. Another one coming out here. I'm going to actually sit here and let that one drop on this row. I know I've probably got, would probably have had time to turn around, but why risk it, eh? Why chance it? Why take the risk? Yeah, let's hope the silage prices are good again this year and we can make a decent, healthy amount of money from the silage. Big silage sale at the end of the year. Because that would be good. But ladies and gentlemen, we've reached that time sadly once again where we have come to the end of today's episode. I will look forward to seeing you all again very soon with another Calmston Farm adventure. But for now, from me, Sea Wally, it's goodbye. <laughs>